all right, what am I doing? Am I making a video on a Monday morning? Not even awake yet. All right, let's stop it right there and fix these errors before it gets any worse. Because I got off base on there, obviously, and uh, was not properly thinking. So let's back up just a touch. Just a touch right here. Back up to this step where we had this right here. We had it at 16 factored out. The 4 is on the other side. It's a positive 4. And we were completing the square with these two terms. So we did have properly taken the negative 2. Divide it by 2, and that's a negative 1. And that will end up being the term that we have down here. y minus 1 squared for the next term with the 16 out front. But when we take that negative 1 and square it, positive 1, that is the number that would complete this trinomial. and make that a perfect squared trinomial by adding the one. So now that would factor to this binomial squared, which is why it's a perfect square. We wanted to create a binomial squared. So to add a one, that would do that. Now here's the problem. In my original video, I added the one on this side. But that's not totally correct because I didn't add one to this equation. I added... 16, because whatever's inside this parentheses is being multiplied by 16. So I have to add 16 to this side of the equation to keep it balanced. If I just add 1 over here and I add this plus 1 inside the parentheses, that means I've actually added a value of 16 to this side. So I have to add 16 to that side. So that was the first error I did. I added the wrong number over here. Secondly, and let's, let's do this as a second step. Okay, so second step, when I've got to this part, let's pretend we're going to have it factored. It doesn't matter if it's factored yet or not. When I want to complete a perfect square trinomial on this side, all right, and I got now I've got 20, really. I'll do the 4 plus 16 just to keep it clean. So here, my coefficient is negative 4 divided by 2. Negative 2 is the number that's going to end up here. It's going to be x minus 2 squared because that is the number I get when I cut that in half. But the number I add on to that is negative 2 squared, which is 4. So I have to add 4. So in my original video, let's go ahead and write these other factors here. Equals. In my other video, I added 4 here and I added 4 here. But here's the problem again. I'm not adding 4 to this side of the equation because this is being subtracted. Everything inside here is being subtracted. So when I put a plus 4 in here, I'm actually subtracting 4 from this side of the equation. So here I was just subtracting x squared, subtracting or adding 4x to subtract it a negative. And then 0. But now I'm subtracting 4. So I have to subtract 4 from the other side. These two things I did not pay attention to. I was not awake this morning to catch those things until I looked at it later and went, well, yeah, I totally skipped that. So if I do that, 4 minus 4 goes away, and this does equal 16. So I'm not quite to the equation of a hyperbola. i got to divide everything by 16 because I need this just to be the y and the x on top. So if I divide everything by 16, that means I have to divide this by 16 because i got to divide everything on both sides by 16. So this just becomes y minus 1 squared minus x minus 2 squared over 16 equals 1. And the equation of a hyperbola should equal 1, just like on a circle, it equals 1, like plus, that's a circle or whatever, or an ellipse. So this is the correct answer when you do these steps right. Just remembering it from factoring the square and adding. If I have something outside multiplying it, that changes what I really added. I really added 16, and I really subtracted 4 here. I subtracted 4 just because there is a minus a 4. So to balance it, I have to be sure I'm putting the right things on the other side of the equal sign as well.